Now, a new report by Human Rights Watch found that prisoners with mental disabilities are being severely mistreated to the point of death. From being shocked with stun guns to being repeatedly beaten and underfed, the report details how a culture of unwarranted and excessive force has become the status quo in U.S. prisons, where one in five prisoners has been diagnosed with a serious mental illness. Now, according to Human Rights Watch, which reviewed hundreds of documented lawsuits and interviewed more than 100 past and present corrections officials, at the root of the problem is ineffective use of force policies and training, along with inadequate mental health treatments. Now, unfortunately, these kinds of reports seem all too common these days. But what if we heard directly from those working in the prison system more often? instead of just human rights organizations. Joining us now is George Mallincroft, who worked as a mental health counselor at a psychiatric ward in a Florida correctional facility. George, thank you for being with us. It's great to be here. Uh, now, you worked in the same Florida prison where Darren Rainey was forced into a scalding hot shower, where he was locked up and left, which ultimately resulted in his death. How bad were things in regards to the treatment of mentally disabled inmates where you worked, and, and what did you see? I, I saw um, an ongoing pattern of abuse. When I first got there, I was actually seeing um, less intense types of abuse. In other words, uh, maybe the guards wouldn't feed an inmate, they would taunt him, they would write up phony disciplinary reports. And the thing is, I just passed it off as another bad day in prison. I was, I never received any training as to what constituted abuse. So aside from the obvious beating, torture, and killing of inmates, I was in the dark. Now, you did try to report instances like this, though, uh, of abuse when, when people started coming to you. Clearly, uh, clearly they felt that you could be trusted here. And what was the response that you got? Yes. Uh, Two months before I was released from my position, an inmate was taken to a hallway where there were no cameras. He was cuffed behind his back and four or five guards just proceeded to kick him. And that incident would have continued had it not been for a coworker who came and was an eyewitness to the whole thing. But she feared retaliation to the point that on the report, she wrote down that she didn't see anything. Uh, that didn't sit well with me. So in a morning staffing, shortly after uh, this inmate showed me his bruises and other inmates corroborated his version of being led to the hallway, I asked the present uh, members of the staffing, which included three psychologists, two psychiatrists, and a number of other staffers, what are we going to do about this? Uh, an inmate on our caseload was taken and beat. There was dead silence. Nobody wanted to talk about it. And then finally, the uh, site manager and supervisor uh, from Horizon Health looked over at me and said, well, Mr. Mallinckrodt, if you're having concerns, you should put it in writing. And that was the extent of it. And so I wrote up that report and uh, many others. But why is that the case, George? Why is there this kind of culture of silence? Uh, and why don't we hear more from people like yourself? I mean, especially when it comes to those who are meant to be mental health professionals, right? Not those that are guards within these correctional facilities, but those that are meant to really care for, for the health of the inmates. Well, it was a complete shock to me. I expected to have a discussion, but I came to find out that this was the culture, the deeply embedded culture within the DOC, which is basically what stays in the DOC or what happens in the DOC stays in the DOC. So um, this is the, the way of being for this agency. And one of the, uh, I think really the most important mission for the new secretary, Julie Jones. All right, George, we thank you for being with us today and for, uh, for speaking out about this and sharing your perspective.